Here's the 2010 Chevy Camaro Coupe LT RS package. One owner, clean Carfax, only 14,900 miles in silver. Uh, you know, where are you going to find a 10 with only 14,000 miles? Obviously, this car spent a lot of time being garage kept. You can see the nice factory paint still gleams. You can see the RS badging in the center of the, the uh, uh, grill area there. Also, your halogen headlamps and fog lights there. See the nice factory uh, uh, decal kit running up the, the uh, hood there. Uh, as we continue around to the side, you can see, I mean, these are big 20-inch five-spoke wheels. Uh, the tires are good still. Um, they're a low-pro tire, probably have about, oh, at least five or six 30 seconds. So they're about half tread or better. Uh, these tires don't have a lot of tread on them brand new, but uh, very sporty tire. Also, as you can see, nice resurface rotor and thick brake pad. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed up by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. As you look in through the passenger side, you can see nice leather seating, uh, dark charcoal offset white stitching. Of course, two bucket seats, full console flows in between, an automatic transmission. You can see it's dark charcoal dash and carpeting. It does have the Boston Acoustics upgraded sound. A little bit of offset stitching, some chrome door handles, a little gray applique here throughout the door panel. Uh, obviously, this is a two-door. You can see, though, still ample ample uh, leg room back here for your rear occupants. Obviously, in a sports car, you don't have a ton of room, but it isn't too bad in this Camaro. Now, as you can see, the back wheels, uh, tires are actually a little deeper back here. Uh, still about half tread or better. You also can see a nice resurface rotor. Wheel isn't all scuffed or scraped up, obviously, only 15,000 miles, uh, but it's very much a light new vehicle. You can see the RS badging back there on the deck lid. Uh, also, you can see uh, got your dual exhaust back there. Um, let's go ahead and pop the trunk so you can see how much room you have in the trunk. Obviously, there again is a sports car. You'd be surprised. Uh, very ample trunk space. Those seats do fold down if you need a little more room. So, uh, you know, pretty surprising how much room you do have there. Continue around to the driver's side again, just showing you the matching tires, about the same depth as the rest. Show you this wheel isn't all beat or scraped up. And then let's give you a look here through the driver's side. You can see you do have a full power seat on the driver's side, unlike the passenger. Also give you a look back here, but you can see the interior is very clean. No rips, tears, stains, or rotors. Previous owner did baby this car uh, and was a non-smoker. Now, before we get into the tour, I like to show you the key fob. You can see it is equipped with factory remote start your power trunk release and your integrated fob has what I would call the switch uh, excuse me it had to recall so we had the uh, we got the secondary key laser cut we have two sets of these so always available to the next owner uh, now let's continue the tour you do have a fuel or a, a trunk release button here as well there's your power windows and your power mirrors let's go ahead and jump in turn the engine on let you see how low miles it is very low miles for a 2010. 14,940 miles. Now, besides the mechanical inspection on the dash, we also keep a copy of the auto history report. You can see one owner, no accidents. Um, and let's continue the tour. Headlamp controls, high beams and turn signals are here. Uh, we also have your ability to uh, go through your different uh, menu options, as you can see, as I'm toggling through here with the menu button setting and clearing them on the end cruise control audio controls on the steering wheel here as well as your bluetooth intermittent wiper washers on the right uh, we had your headlamp controls down here with the automatic headlamp setting also your dimmer for your interiors am uh, like i say upgraded bose am fm satellite radio single cd we also have your uh, climate control buttons down here and your door locks are in the middle that's why they weren't on the door also have your gauge clusters down there as well uh, you have your auto dim on your rear view mirror, LED map lights. We do have illuminated visors. Excuse me, we do not have illuminated visors, but we do have LED map lights. Two large cup holders. You do have an uh, automatic floor shifter here. If you put it in manual mode, you do have paddle shifters. You tap the right paddle to up shift, left paddle to down shift. So that's kind of cool. Ability to shut off your traction control system right there. And in the console, we have a USB, an audio pre-in, and a 12 volt power supply. So all your connectivity is right there. Now, no roof on this model. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, pop the tr uh, the hood, excuse me, show you what we got underneath the hood. The hood release is right here. I believe this vehicle is equipped with the V6. Let's just verify that very quickly. Yep, that's what we got. We got a V6 variable valve temp, high output V6 engine. You can see here, no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. Um, very quiet, very well maintained. Try to give you a look as best as I can. There is a fair amount of shrouding underneath here, but you hear it's very, very quiet and what you would expect with any 15,000 miles on the engine. Very much light new. Now I'm gonna shut this car off. We'll get into the next portion of the video. I explained our mechanical check in the glove box, our auto history is on the dash. The last portion of making an informed buying decision is a cosmetic appearance check, which is what I'm gonna do right now. All the body lines are nice, straight and clean, shows no signs of any prior paint uh, or any kind of uh, accident damage. Um, looks good, really clean. Small little chip above the door handle there. Tiny little chip right there. All in all, good looking car. Quarter looks nice. Car's got really nice lines to it. A uh, little tiny chip back here on the back. Another one over here. Front of the deck lid looks good. Chip there as well. Decal looks really good. No dents or dings at all. Working our way up passenger side now. Minor little scratch here, as you can see, another little chip. Minor scratch up there as well. Small little chip right there. That's good though, guys. Little chip there. I didn't really notice the dent at all. Now, this does have your clear film protector chip guard, I call it. You can see that line of that chip guard right there runs the whole way across this front. Think of it like an invisible bug shield. Uh, will not allow that to be damaged by the, the chips. We also have it down here in the lower portion of the area. You can see again that line. Uh, that isn't a tape line. That's actually a chip guard. Helps protect the whole front of the vehicle as well. These nose down vehicles really catch a lot of chips. This one is chip free. The guard has done an excellent job. Uh, don't even really notice any chips on the hood. Uh, it's done that good of a job, so I can say that this vehicle is very, very excellent condition. Uh, it is out of the manufacturer's obligation due to time, uh, but obviously very low mileage. Uh, you can rest assured it'll give you years and years of ownership. We will include our lifetime engine and transmission warranty at our asking price for no additional charge since the manufacturer obligation has expired. Uh, so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. Now, if you're issue, interested, excuse me, there is a few ways to get a hold of us. Look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com or give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial and I wish you an excellent day.